in, in the description but I'll have everything in the um every all the prices everything I have in this video that as far as whatever I use that smack so you guys look for the description box in there so, at the time that I purchased my um stick foundations if you spent a certain amount of money on there you got a MAC um, eyeshadow palette and I picked out the wrist taker by MAC so this is what I'm going to be doing my eye color on in this video as well um, and there's also a highlighter over here so I'm excited to be doing that in the video as well color concealer I have it's the NC 43 um, concealer I did get this concealer in the store so I was able to um, color match in the store which I was excited about that so it is bright um, and I did have a choice to get a little bit darker but I chose this color so that's why um, that's why it's a lot brighter but I just wanted a color that I could brighten under my eyes you know far I do like it it's actually not as bright as what I thought it was gonna be using it so it did kind of you know melt into my skin color as bright but not too like overpowering bright and I was actually kind of nervous about that so yeah Big foundations do not come in NC46. I repeat, it does not come in NC46 at all. So, okay, so let's go ahead and go in NC45. But first, I want to put, usually when I use stick foundations, I use oil on my face. Um, so I'm going to do that. But first, I want to kind of color correct just a little bit, tiny bit under my eyes. Um, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with the Farsali Unicorn Essence. Um, I'm just gonna use this. I don't like to use any kind of matte primers or anything when I'm using um, stick foundations because the MAC, oh, the MAC stick foundation actually feels a little bit drier than the other stick foundations that I use. Um, not that it's dry, but it does feel like a soft matte. I think that's what it's supposed to be is a soft matte exactly it's a soft matte it's not a dewy like i was hoping for but like i said that's just what stick foundations are and how you make your face your foundation not look dry is what you do underneath the stick foundation so that's where it counts it's what you put on underneath it so if you want it dewy you can have it dewy you just have to you know figure out what face product you need to put on underneath so that's all it takes guys so i'm gonna go in with nc45 just gonna take a few swatches around here and you should probably wait until it dries up a little bit. Honestly, I just didn't want to wait. <laughs> also, what matters is what kind of brush you use. So, I highly recommend you use a brush that will definitely be able to glide. Oh, I just messed up my eyebrow, you guys. I want to show you guys like how much product you get as well. Like, it's something I didn't show you guys. This is literally how much um, product you get. Like, not much, but for me, I'm not a person that uses um, a lot of foundation. Like, I literally have a drawer over here with a lot of um, foundations in it that I have not used yet. So, I'm gonna take my trusty dusty M439 brush and I'm just going to kind of get this in there if you want to you can also um, spray this brush or whatever brush you use um, with fix plus if it's not doing what you want it to do honestly like I talked about earlier is prepping the stick foundation I literally should have probably seriously shaved my face um, I do shave my face not with a male razor but with you know 
the razors that we ladies use um, to, you know, just clean up the, around our brows and stuff with. You know what I mean? Um, so I do use that. Sometimes it's also good if you like dewy stuff like how I do to go in with um, an oil underneath your foundation. Um, I wouldn't consider this full coverage because as you guys can see, you can still see like a lot of my imperfections. It did cover up a lot of my mask knee that I have going on here. So um, I am excited about that, but it didn't really cover up, you know, a lot of it. Like if you were to come closer to me, you would definitely be able to see my imperfections like a real for real. So let me go back in just a little bit. Around my problem areas. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Actually feels good and smooth on my skin. I'm just bringing it down a little bit. I want you guys to see. Okay, so let's go in with the NC44 and let's just kind of, I'm just going to kind of go in under my eyes just a little bit because I don't want the concealer to make me look too bright underneath here. not full coverage so you will have to go in with however many layers you feel like you need to give you the coverage that you want um me i don't need to feel like as long as it got rid of a lot of my um acne dark spots that i had going on here from wearing these masks um i'm okay with that with just going on with a layer one full layer and then i went in and just touched up the spots that I felt like it didn't cover, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, boss. Okay, so just down my nose, around my nose area. Okay. Also go in with the NW50 and just kind of give us a little contour here. You don't want to go too much. like really coming together well and I really like it like I'm loving it and sometimes you guys if you go in too heavy with your contour just, just take like whatever sponge you use for your highlighter I mean not your highlighter but for your concealer and just kind of go over it and buff it around in there so that it doesn't look too you know what I mean crazy on here y'all like sometimes I really be looking crazy on here so <clears throat> I'm not quite sure if I want to use this to set my foundation with I am going to use this on top of my contour 
to um you know but not on top of my highlighter like i'm gonna just go in very subtle and it's because i don't want to This can't be possible, like, at all. Like, I almost don't even want to set underneath my eyes because I really like how dewy it's still looking right now. And as you guys saw, like, the only thing I used was this Farsali Unicorn and then just regular, you know, what I just put on top of it. So, I am going to just probably set it just a little tiny bit. I just want to make sure I don't lose that. Cause you guys know I already have like dry skin like really really bad and so I want to make sure that I'm not you know taking it back too far and looking dry And so now, let's get into this beautiful, beautiful palette. Um, I'm going to show you guys the colors again. It's actually not anything in here that I can use as a transition shade. So I may have to go in my Jaclyn Hill palette for that. But I do kind of just want to do something simple to my eyes because I want the foundation and the good glowiness that we have going on with the foundation to pop out more so i may go in with these two colors right here this one and this one so let's see Ooh. Ooh. let me wipe this powder off of my eyes and see what we can get done so i'm going in with this color here But it's just so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's just so pretty and so. And it's so creamy too. actually so so cute that you can't really really tell but it's like still just like so cute like I cannot so now I'm gonna go in with this other shade which is here um, right here and this one is a little bit less creamier but it's still so cute and I'm actually going to mix three shimmer shades because this other color is just calling my name and I really love it and I think it's going to look so cute with my lashes but it's this color right here I'm 
just gonna put it more in the center here so it just gives me more brightness in here. Take that in the center of my lips here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and line it with the BFF um, 4 liner. So I'm just gonna like my natural foundation look using the MAC foundation sticks. I really enjoyed using it. I really, really, really loved how creamy they were. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this look. Um, I wanted to try to make it look as natural as possible um, because I have just been really loving that look since I have been having to wear a mask a lot. I haven't really been doing my foundation. So keeping my face looking as natural as possible is what I've been obsessed with. I keep touching my hair a lot. It's because I just got my hair done and I'm just like so excited because it looks just, just looks so cute. But yeah, so until next time, I love y'all and I'll see y'all in my next video.